It's raining, it's pouring, the old thrifters are snoring, but not your man burp. No way, no how. I'm on my hustle and grind. It's Friday, it's thrifting day. I'm on my way to Louisville to make my normal rounds, but I've got some exciting news. I've discovered a thrift store that I didn't even know existed over here. And in today's episode, we're gonna see what kind of goodies they got. The thrift yeah. store looking for toys for more. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. So it is raining cats and dogs out here today. Check this out. So lots of water, lots of precipitation coming down from the sky. Um, but uh, you know, this type of weather typically keeps the thrifters away and I'm getting a little bit of a late start it's a little after nine and thrift giant opens right at nine so I won't get there till about maybe 20 minutes after but the fact that it's raining today gives me a competitive edge because nobody else goes out in this weather just your boy birth nobody else goes out rain hell sleet or snow I'm thrifting and always on the go so in a few minutes, we're gonna be at the first Thrift Giant. And what I actually discovered through the Thrift Giant app is that there are two Thrift Giants in Louisville and I've never been to the other location. So I'm excited for this. I always enjoy finding brand new thrift stores that I've never checked out before. And hopefully they got some good stuff on the shelves. So let's head that way and see what they got. my friends we are here <laughs> all right it's time to get a little wet it's not raining real hard and heavy but it's still kind of blah today all right well let's head in here fingers crossed hopefully they got some good stuff on the, sh on the shelves we're gonna hit up that that other thrift giant last so Let's head inside. Holy shite. There is nothing on these shelves. Like nothing. I mean, there's a bunch of like baby dolls and you know, stuffed animals, baby toys, but nothing we want. So there's this dude, but I don't want him. <laughs> He's like the best item in here right now. So, all right, well, let's head to Goodwill next. Man, I have never seen the shelves like that at that thrift giant anyway. I guess maybe because it's getting closer to Christmas, people are starting to scoop up more of the toys, which needs I need means I need to be more on my A game. By the way, if you're wondering what all this is right here, I cut myself with a straight razor. <laughs> I got me a straight razor and put a brand new blade in it and really did a number nicking myself. And check this out right here. My wife burned me with her straight iron. <laughs> She was in the bathroom doing her hair and I came up behind her and I leaned in and I gave her a hug from behind and she took the straight iron and pulled it, pushed it back and it like hit me like right in the lip and burned my lip. So anyway, let's head over, head over to Goodwill and uh, see what kind of goodies they got. Goodwill gods, be good to me today. All right, let's head in. Goodwill's actually been producing lately, which has been pretty sweet. So hopefully they produce again today. Oh man, it doesn't look like 
anything. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a bike helmet. Shells are looking pretty bare. This thing has been here for a couple of months at least. This down here, man, I wish, I wish it was together because I would get this thing in a heartbeat, but it's just so incomplete. Yeah. Nothing on these shells. I always check the stuffed animal, the plushy section, because I'm one day hoping I'm gonna find an ALF. You know, ALF from the 1980s, the cat eater, alien. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna find him. I've seen people on YouTube find him before in thrift stores, but all right. Well, this is a huge bust, so. All right, let's hit up Thrift City next, and then we'll hit up that final Thrift Giant. Maybe that other Thrift Giant actually has the good stuff today. Yeah. All the way from Opalaka, College Park, H-Town Love. This is the Dirty South. All right. Man, we're striking out today, aren't we? Maybe our luck will turn around here at Old Thrift City. Let's do this. We in this trick. Rub your click. Tell me who you ride with. North side, south side. We in this trick. Rub your click. Tell me who you ride with. East side, west side. We in this trick. Rub your click. Tell me who you ride with. North side, south side. We in this trick. I'm from the dirty, dirty where we don't play no game. Get crunk up in the club, sipping on some purple drink. Girls in the club, moving they bust. Money ain't a thing. My hood show me look, cause my hood be everything. From the ATL all the way to MIA. I got the H to look, cause the South is where I stay. Hey, ha, he, ha. Girls, yeah, we got all that. Rep your city if you with me, and I love you back. Matter of fact. Alright, so they are stocking the shelves fresh right now. So I'm just gonna wait for her to get done stocking and take a look around. I did pick up a few items already, but let's see what else we can get. Uh, we got some matchbox car, school bus. Anything good? More matchbox and hot wheels. And these are just like little little figurines. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell. I guess we'll go check the glass case next. Holy crap, they actually have vintage Star Wars in the glass case. I have, it's the first time I've ever seen that in the wild. That is awesome. So there doesn't seem to be anybody around right now. So I am like standing guard over this thing and watching it like a hawk because I want that shit. Oh man, that just totally made my day, bro. Man, I just found some vintage Star Wars in the wild and I paid $3.99 a piece for them. So not too shabby. Um, of course, you know, there's some of them, you know, they're missing their weapons and all that stuff. But uh, we'll take a quick look at these before we head over to Thrift Giant. Uh, a couple other things I got real quick. I have uh, didn't I didn't check prices on any of this stuff on eBay. So I'll have to throw this. I'll look it up and then in the editing, I'll throw the sticker up here what these things are worth if I can find them. Uh, but Space Bot Team, I have no idea what year it is doesn't really say the name of the company that made it so i gotta do a little research but i thought he was cool so and uh it looked a little older so i thought it might be worth a risk right taking a shot at it so it was two dollars and 99 cents i also got um this which i haven't had an opportunity to check but this guy is from 2001 and you can see like this police officer dude I don't know what line he's from, but he is from 2001. So it was, again, it was $1.99. Whoa, it was $1.99 for this bag. So I thought I'd again, take a little, take a little crack at that. See if I could get some, uh, see if he might be actually worth something. 
and then check these guys out whoa how cool is that i can't believe i found these in a thrift store and they didn't have them overpriced now he's a little beat up got to do a little cleaning up of him so and then i also got this guy i can't remember his name he's got a funky name uh but I actually have him at the house. I believe he's a bounty hunter, right? Uh, might have to double check that. And then I got good old Chewy. I am really stoked about that. Holy crap, like $3.99 each. So, all right, so up next and finally, last but not least, let's go hit up that other Thrift City, or not Thrift City, Thrift Giant, and uh, see what that other location looks like. All right, we are here. The new Thrift Giant. I've never been here before. Uh, so hopefully this ends up being some sort of little honey hole because it's kind of like uh, in an older part of town. So it's not off, it's kind of off the beaten path. It's not off the main highway like the other Thrift Giants. So who knows, maybe we'll find some good stuff in here because it's untapped. this thing damn that thing is huge it's like some sort of spider-man subway playset maybe i'm gonna have to check that out it's a big one that is a big one let's see what else do they got in here man i see these turtle shells all the time all the time all right, what else do we got here? It looks like this might be the big score of the day. We just gotta find out how much do they want for it and how much is it worth? That's the other question. All right, let me, uh, let me do a little research here. All right, well, that was not the mega score I was hoping it was gonna be. So that Spider-Man City playset, uh, I found it selling on eBay with most of its parts where it was missing just a few parts and it sold for like 10 bucks. Uh, and that one was missing over half the shit. So not the score I was hoping it was gonna be, but hey, we did score some great things today. Again, you know, we got, uh, we got some Star Wars, baby. First time finding these guys in the wild, vintage Star Wars. So super cool about this. Obviously, like I said, this guy, got to do a little research on him. So we'll find out who he is and how much he's worth. And then last but certainly not least, again, we got the Space Bot Team. What a name, Space Bot Team. So, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're up to date on every episode that we release. And please like and comment on this video. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever found vintage Star Wars in the wild? Not at like an antique store where they're like doing like, you know, retro or vintage prices, but where you got a really good deal on something because the thrift store didn't know what they had sort of thing. So. Um, so leave me a comment and also follow me on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R O C. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.